Welcome to the Strategic Motivator Show. Featuring keynote speaker, author, and founder of Create Your Life International, Terry Sitford. Today's episode is brought to you in collaboration with the Association for Strategic Planning. Are you an expert strategist with an interest in becoming an author? Let us help you get published today. Use your expertise and command of strategic subjects to become a published author. Let the Strategic Motivator Show help you on your road to becoming published today. Go to strategicmotivator.com slash author. That's strategic, M-O-T-V-8-R dot com slash author. Watching on YouTube? Make sure to like and subscribe. Welcome to the Strategic Motivator Show, where we motivate the world's leaders to be strategic. We are so excited to have this show today because today's show is very special as it is a collaboration with the Association of Strategic Planning. And we are going to interview some of the keynote speakers. So as you know, or if you're new, we want to tell you a little bit about the Strategic Motivator Show. The Strategic Motivator Show is a show that provides strategies that help to cultivate competent, confident leaders. We have a Motivated Leaders Masterclass membership where many of our guests have created masterclasses that you can go more in depth with their content. We work to optimize team performance and productivity and generate enterprise results and revenue for those in the C-suite. So please be sure to contact us at strategicmotivator.com. As you can see, that's spelled M-O-T-V-8-R.com. We are doing this collaboration with the Association for Strategic Planning. And we want you to know that their annual conference is coming up May 19th through the 21st of 2021 make sure you register at strategyassociation.org. The conference will focus on a holistic approach to strategy management. It will explore the strategy life cycle and the set of interconnected and overlapping activities. Those things that are essential to successfully achieving desired results. This collaboration is just such a great idea for the Strategic Motivator Show. And again, we hope that you register at strategyassociation.org. But the great thing that we have going on today is we have the keynote speaker in the house. As you can see, Terry Sidford, she's the keynote speaker and author, and she is the founder and CEO of Create Your Life International. A little bit more about Terry. Terry is a sought after TEDx speaker. She's an author a certified professional life coach, and she has spent over half of her life acquiring the knowledge and expertise that qualifies her to guide others. The acquisition of those experiences is the basis of her book, 100 Hearts, Inspiring Stories for the, from the Women Who've Lived Them. Have you ever asked yourself the question, what would you do if you weren't afraid? What would you do? Well, if you are a leader, who has ever struggled with the daunting task, change management, or confidence, I think Terry is going to be able to provide us a lot of those answers today. So Terry, we are so happy you're here. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us. I appreciate <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. Okay, so for those of those of my audience who may not know you, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, and how you got started? Yes, I'd love to. I started out in the corporate world as a pharmaceutical rep, did that for a very long time and realized that there was uh, more that I needed to do. And I became a coach and I worked with um, individuals and um, professionals to help them really fulfill their potential in whatever they wanted to do in life. And in that whole process, I found that a lot of my clients were demonstrating courage that they didn't even realize or see in themselves. That led me to write my book and the TEDx talk. And I, I was hooked on the speaking stage after that. And um, we wrote a book about 
these people's courage. And it's really been quite the journey. I really do live a, a courageous life myself. And uh, so it's really easy to talk about it and how to do that. Um, because um, I'm out on the edge, it seems like, <laughs> daily. <laughs> so you said you live a courageous life. Tell me, how, how would you define courage? Courage is going beyond what you think you can achieve, going beyond the fears or the considerations that pop up, having a vision for something or a dream, and believing that it's possible and just pushing and breaking past any obstacle that says that you can't. And, and that really is being a leader in your own life. And, and, and I'm also being a leader in my own business because of it. So I will say yes to things and then figure out how to do it. Nice, okay, so you're one of those people who builds the parachute on the way down. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so besides your experience, what will people really learn from reading your book? They'll learn that they're not alone, first of all. Many of the women who shared their stories, uh, shared their stories for the very first time. And many women and people who read the book, 100 Hearts, told me it was the first time they didn't feel alone. Many times we're out there thinking we're the only ones experiencing these things. And they started to see courage in their own life. And they were starting to go for their dreams and take risk and inspiring others to be courageous as well. Wow, that's great to hear. And you're right, you know, I think we, a lot of times just go for it, we do things and sometimes we fail. So we may think, you know, may, we're not up to the task. Um, many people have considered doing what you do currently for a living, speaking, um, doing keynote speaking, speaking for a living and being an author. Tell me, how did you find the courage to do that? And can you share something that might inspire someone else who's on that journey? Yes, I would love to. I really, I really just trusted in the process and didn't get too far ahead of myself. And I, I knew that I had a passion to help other people. I knew I had a purpose inside of me. Didn't know how that was going to transpire. But it, first of all, it started off with writing a book. I didn't think I could write a book, but I had other people around me. They had written books and they said, Terry, I can help you. And they did. So that was an, one huge step. And then somebody said, Terry, you should really do a TEDx talk. No, I can't do that. I can't speak. <laughs> uh, you know, what are you talking about? You know, and so first one I applied to, three, three months later, I'm on the TEDx stage. Awesome. And then, yes. And then it's just not getting too far out ahead of yourself. But knowing that it's possible, I never gave up on the idea that I can do things that I've never done before and that I might actually succeed at it. So it's having a vision for something you never even dreamed possible and, and then get people around you to help you, people that have done it and learn from them and get your support system. So, you know, I went from TEDx stage to now being a professional speaker and it's really Things can really happen um, if you believe in yourself and get people to, to support you and not give up, not give up, be persistent. And how hard was that? Um, really going out and asking someone and saying, hey, I really need your help. I think a lot of times people just get stuck because they're on their own, they're in their own world. It sounds like you had a lot of great support. How did you garner that support? That's such a good question. I did a lot of research and I was vulnerable enough to ask people. And I asked one person, you know, do they know other, other people that can help me? And, and looking at people that have already done what I want to do and have been successful at it. And what I learned is that when you ask for help, people really do want to help you. Nice. And, yes. And I've had, I, I can't, numerous people have helped me get to where I am today. And, and I can't thank them enough. So you just have to be brave and courageous okay. <laughs> and vulnerable and ask for All right. Yeah. So one of the things we always have such great guests who offer such great things to our audience. And one of the things that I know you're gonna offer to our audience is actually a course, um, which talks about six things that you can do to be courageous. So you mentioned vulnerability, you mentioned being brave, are those some of the things in the course and does it go more in depth? 
it does go in more depth. Yes, it does talk about seeing yourself as courageous. And the more that you see yourself as courageous, the more courageous that you will become and the easier it gets. It's like a muscle. The more you okay. use it, yeah, the, the easier <laughs> it to lose it. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> yes, and another one is, you know, that being courageous, if you don't see yourself as courageous, then I help you uh, with the six steps, look into your life and, and look at times where maybe you didn't identify it as courageous, but that you were. And also facing fear that, that being courageous doesn't mean it's the absence of fear, it's facing it and doing it anyway. So I will help you with the wow. steps of, of handling your fears and your doubts, which is huge. It's a huge obstacle um, that will allow you, if you get over it, to really be courageous. Absolutely. And you know, they say fear is false evidence appearing real. Um, yes. But it can really stifle you, it can really stifle your growth. So I'm so glad that you're offering this audience a resource. Our audience is composed of leaders, leaders who some who are new to being leaders, some who are aspiring to being leaders, and some who have been leaders forever. But you always face new challenges. And that's one of the part of growth. So we're going to ask you, can you face a challenge with us today? What do you think? Yes, I say yes and figure it out. <laughs> okay, so I have this challenge for everyone who comes on to be a guest. And don't worry, they kind of love it. It's called Good Strategy, Bad Strategy. It's really kind of a quick fire round where I'll give you two different strategies. And you can tell me if you think they're both good, if you think one is good, and then maybe explain a little bit more for the audience. Sound like a deal? A deal. Okay, great. All right. So the first one is one, some people have the strategy of fake it till you make it. So that would be choice number one. Or the other choice would be own where you are to make it far. So what do you think is the good strategy and bad strategy? Fake it till you make it or own where you are to get far. I think they're both good, but own where you are to get far is probably um, a little bit better, but sometimes you need to use both. Okay. Um, sometimes you have to step in believing and, and that, that you're there before you're even there or know how to get there. But you also have to own where you're at and, and understand what resources and training and education that you need to get what you want, where you need to go as well. So I do think they're, that's a trick question, but I, I think they're both good. <laughs> Ah, see, <laughs> you, you turn the challenge back on me. Um, so I love it. But, you know, I'm a big proponent. Um, I do a lot of learning and development myself. So I love that you mentioned that because most people, um, some people don't get enough learning and development when they step into that leadership role. They may not have had it before. They may find that they don't have a lot of time to do it. But really taking it upon yourself to own where you are and know where you need to go, um, kind of that, um, this, what got you here won't get you there. Exactly, <laughs> analogy, exactly. So. Yes. Great, all right, next challenge. Follow the leader or create your own path. What do you think is the better strategy? Hmm. <laughs> I, I, I do think they're trick questions. Um, create uh -huh. your own path, creating your <laughs> own path, but learning from people that have already been doing it well. So that would be the leadership, you know, following the leader would be um, taking what other people have done and, but also making sure that you are creating your own path and being a leader, right. but gleaning off of what other people have done well. Okay. So really learning from them, not necessarily replicating them or trying to duplicate them, but just learning yeah. from them. Yeah, Love absolutely. that. Yes. Okay, one more, and hopefully you don't see this one as a trick question, but you know, we try to make it interesting. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> really, we're just looking for your fresh perspective. Yes. Should you be more afraid to fail or more afraid not to fail? Definitely. You, yeah, you do not want to be afraid to fail. So there exactly. you go. That's the answer. Uh, because <laughs> failure is how you're going to learn. That's how you're going to grow. And, and, and really um, what looks like a failure is, is a stepping stone usually um, yeah. on your way to success. You do not want to be afraid of failure. Absolutely. All right. Well, a couple of things and we will end for today. And again, thank you so much for being part of it. 
tell us what is next for you and your journey of being courageous. How can we get mm. to know a little bit more about what you're doing next? Thank you. And, and I really appreciate being on, on your show. It's a great show. And uh, I really, my next step is writing another book. I love writing and never thought that that's a journey I was going to be going on. And uh, so I'm going to be um, venturing into a new book and continuing my speaking um, and trying to spread the message and help people really be leaders in all areas of their life. Awesome. So thank you for your support. <laughs> okay. So we are going to do a couple more things. We're going to ask you, where can we look for you? Where can we find you? And I think he's going to bring up some information. And tell us about that information and how we can find you. You can go to my website and find everything you need to know about me, which is Terry, T-E-R-R-Y, Sidford, S-I-D-F-O-R-D, at dot com. And you can find my book there. You can find my virtual workshop and many other um, exciting things happening. Um, and find out where the next place that I'll be speaking as well. Okay, perfect. And of course... This was in association with the Strategic Planning Conference. So I want to learn a little bit more about what can they expect from you? Why should they register? If you really want to be a leader in all areas of your life and conquer um, courage over fear or doubt to achieve your dreams and be successful, then you're going to want to hear my four steps that I learned in my own life that I'll be sharing with you to get there. Okay, great. And I will be speaking at the conference too, everyone. So we can't wait to see you there. I will be helping you to scale your business if you're a CEO. But if you are just a strategist that works for a CEO, I'm going to teach you how to keep them on track, how to keep them moving towards their next goal in scaling their business. So come learn a little bit more about what's important and what's not important, what sometimes gets in the way of scaling your business. So Super excited to see you guys all at the conference. So Terry, again, thank you so much. We are so glad you joined us today. We're so glad we got to know you and can't wait to get to know you more in the conference and follow you from here on out. And just for everyone who's watching, please make sure to go to her site. If you need a keynote speaker, she's awesome. I watch her TED Talks and please just make sure you join us for the Strategic Planning Conference. We're looking forward to helping make our world leaders be more strategic. Today's episode is brought to you in collaboration with the Association for Strategic Planning. Are you an expert strategist with an interest in becoming an author? Let us help you get published today. Use your expertise and command of strategic subjects to become a published author. Let the Strategic Motivator Show help you on your road to becoming published today. Go to strategicmotivator.com slash author. That's strategicmotivator.com slash author. Watching on YouTube? Make sure to like and subscribe.